Hi, and welcome to the third part in this nature coaching series. And after so much theory, do you still fancy doing something practical? What about you? Do you fancy doing something practical? But of course, that's why I came here today. And now we are going to start walking very slowly and very mindfully until we find something that attracts us. And it might be a tree, it might be a plant, it might be an animal, a rock, a twig, or whatever. And we will watch that thing from all the perspectives. And at the end, we're going to touch it, we're going to feel it, we're going to listen to it, we're going to smell it. And if you want, you can also taste it, but be careful if it's clean. And at the end, we'll ask the question, in what am I similar to you? In what are you similar to me? and see what happens. And this attraction is something that comes from inside. It's not from our head. It's not like deciding, oh, this tree is so beautiful, so I'm going to choose this to be my tree. But our focus will stick on this one thing, and uh, we might even uh, want to reject it. We might not like it, but we just notice that we're attracted to them, and that's a very important indicator. You've already arrived at the end of this exercise and would you like to share your experience with us? Yes, of course, I'd love to share that with you. I'm still very touched by the encounter with this oak tree here behind me. Um, it was absolutely clear that this is my tree because I had like a tunnel vision and couldn't see anything else around me and I was definitely attracted to it. And as you can see, it has a wound. Um, it is hollow inside. And I approached it and I said that I'm sorry for this wound and the tree answered that I wouldn't have to be sorry because uh, this wound gave it a lot of strength and it has made it into what it is today. And actually that's a very good thing. Also I've asked it in what way are you like me, in what way am I like you and it said that I also had an open big wound which hasn't healed yet but which is going to heal very soon and very fast but it will be visible forever and uh, it will be visible in my work because it also has given me strength and has converted me into what I am today. So the medicine could build up in me which I can give to the world and I'm really grateful for that. And actually the tree hasn't really talked to me. I think it was rather my inner voice, but uh, I guess going out into the forest or into nature helps our inner voice to talk to us or maybe it helps us to listen to it. Yes, I'm very thankful for this day. I had a lot of insights and uh, yes. So much for today and I'm really excited about everything I've experienced here today. And I can only recommend it. And why don't you try it yourself? Yes, and this was the last part to the short introduction into nature coaching. And if you wouldn't like to miss any further videos about nature coaching or other interesting topics, then please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Nature is waiting for us. And my name is Oliver Farago. And my one as well.